Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to customize private notes. So first, um, let's look at where the private notes are. You can see it in your dashboard here, or you can um, locate it here in the side, questionnaires, notes, then private notes. As you can see here, I have different um, private notes. Um, I've created this before, but most likely uh, what you'll see in your own account, it's this default private note so first I'm gonna show you how to create a new one you just have to click this one this green button then you just have to rename it with the private note that you want to create then click on create new private note so next step is you just have to find that um, private note that you just created then click actions then edit private notes You'll see here that it's blank since we just created it. So to fill it up with new fields, you just have to click this add new field. And you're going to see two options, either to create a new field or use existing field. So for the first example, let's create a new field. So when creating a new field, you can add a name. I'm a category so for categories this is um, important when you generate a report um, you can categorize it with this one so that um, you can filter out what data you need in the reports so I'll link in um, a tutorial for this one so that you would um, understand the relationship with with the field category and the report so the field type on the other hand is this is the ones that you can see here so for example you just need a name for your client you can select um, text so you can add here the name of your client so this is just um, text the, this is just for short text so if you need paragraphs like for example, um, you have to take notes of their um, progress. So you, you just use the long text so that you can take note of several sentences or paragraphs. So you can also have yes or no questions or um, fields, radio boxes, uh, check boxes, drop downs here you can add options here um, for the bulk options for example if you have a document that you already used before as a word document or a PDF um, you can copy and paste the options here and it will show as options so you won't have to type it in one by one here so the next one is yeah, you can have single check boxes, headings, so date, if you ch choose date, it will show um, as like this one, so that you can easily navigate through the date that you need. You also have tables, mm, you can also have the tables that has columns and row headers, so for example, here is um, age, um, gender, Then you can, for example, mother, mother of the client, father. So it will show up like this one. So that's for the table. Similar stuff is um, you can see here for the table of checkboxes and radio boxes. For the HTML-like report templates, this is like a Word document where you can type in um, descriptions or just long text that you want to remember so yeah you can have it in bold for example sample you can have it in italic you can have it on bigger sizes you can have it in a different color that you can make it smaller you can also 
um, change the font. Depending if you have your own branding that has similar fonts with the um, choices here, you can change it like that. So this is really helpful when you ha have to remember some stuff. So, so after the words, you can just, um, for example, um, instructions. Um, let's make a more um, understandable one. So uh, remind client to Answer sent questionnaire. You can put it like notes for yourself here. Then you can apply, then insert field here. So it will appear like that. So for the other option, you can add field, then use existing field. So this is helpful if you have um, fields that are repeated or you want to reuse for this specific new private note for example in the default template um, in the new new private note you need a supplement recommendations table you can just go to the private notes then select this one then select the field that you need for example for this example i'm going to use this one the supplement recommendations i just have to select it and insert it whenever i need it so here so other options include um, moving uh, certain fields for example here i can move it after the supplement fields after that um, you can also edit the fields so if you don't want to have if you don't need the supplement um, for example medicine you can rename that you can also um, make it into a checkbox you can basically customize this um, anything you want into anything you want so you just have to apply that so as you can see it changed um, other thing is you can also delete fields for example this one I want to delete delete this you can just go down and delete field then confirm delete so I'm gonna show you some of the other um, templates that I can as samples here as you can see here this is a um, short text this is for long text you can adjust this one also see this is um, some of the tables that um, you can make here in the private notes so basically private notes this is um, notes that you can use for example if you're having a follow-up um, session with your client you can um, open this one and take notes of specific um, notes that you need during the session so that you won't um, forget about stuff yeah so, for example this one's date yes or no yeah this is available in your private notes so you can um, check that if you need some of these fields you can just use the um, use existing field options. So hope this helps.